Oh, okay. Hello, how's everybody doing? Thanks for watching. And this is uh, Nancy Yang's Reading Max Results Facebook page. And I'm Linda, a part of her marketing team. And obviously this is Nancy Yang at Remax. Thanks for chiming in. Okay, and this is what we call the Ash Ask Nancy, where we're gonna ask her anything about real estate. You might have questions. Um, and if you uh, have questions, write them below, either in real time or in the replay. We'll always see it. So, again, okay. <laughs> uh, I had a little technical difficulty there. But before we are going to go to your real estate questions, um, we're going to read the five star glowing review on Zillow on Nancy. And I have it right here. Okay. So, Nancy, I almost got carpal tunnel syndrome doing this okay they had like they had like you know many pages i had to go through and sift it all out okay so are you ready i'm ready okay this is what um z user said okay z user said nancy was very helpful i felt like she really wanted to help us and find a perfect home uh the perfect home as the first home by as first home buyers She's very detailed and very honest. Nancy was quick to respond to any questions we had. I highly recommend her. So I think that's really hard because sometimes you find realtors um, and they just, they really want to get to closing and they'll just say yes, 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 you know. But you know, I guess uh, according to Z user, uh, Nancy's going to point out every great thing, but also maybe every bad thing that's in the house. Um, and you know that may time they may that may take more time to find a house but ultimately you're gonna end up with your perfect house so thanks nancy yeah that's really good absolutely you know as one of my so there's an agent on my team her name is yang Lauren. and she likes to um introduce me to you know some clients when we're working together as nancy's the walking encyclopedia <laughs> yes <laughs> so mm -hmm. um and i love to talk i actually talk way too much sometimes but um, I always feel, firmly feel like if you can help someone, um, give them as much information as possible, then they can make an educated decision on their own and be in the driver's seat um, when they're making a big decision in their life. Now, you may not know this too, but then on top of being a realtor, Nancy has extensive knowledge in uh, home refurbishing, flipping, and construction. So um, that's why she knows so much because she knows not just the house itself, the beautiful, you know, bells and whistles, but you got to go down to the studs, you got to go down to the plumbing, you got to go down to the non sexy parts of the house, and she's going to know all <laughs> those things. Okay, so that's really good to know as an added bonus as your realtor. Yes, and I, I have to say that a lot of that comes from, um, you know, a lot of that experience comes from a partnership with my husband, and he is excellent at, you know, um, I would say taking the rose colored glasses off and we're looking at what it takes to actually like get down to the nitty gritty of fixing a house. So, all right. All right. Thanks, husband. <laughs> okay. So are you ready? So for today's hashtag ask Nancy, where we're going to ask her anything about real estate, mm -hmm. try to stump her. Um, this is today's question. And I hope that maybe it might resonate with at least one of you guys out there or someone, you know, okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So with purchasing a home, almost everybody needs a mortgage, unless you're one of like the two people, the millionaire who can pay cash for everything. <laughs> um, if I was going to buy a home, I, I have a bank. I, I bank with Wells Fargo, okay? Um, should I go to Wells Fargo for my mortgage? Should I go to, I always hear of len, lender companies, lender mortgage companies. Should I go to lender mortgage companies? Or should I do those fancy online, lendingtree.com, Quicken Loans, um, what should I do? Are they, are they different? Are they better? Um, all those questions, lending. Absolutely. Great. Well, I actually bank at Wells Fargo too. And, um, so I would say I'm a um, big fan of Wells Fargo for banking and everything, but this is what's going to happen. Let's say that you go into your local branch and you tell the teller, gee, I'm thinking about buying a house and, um, you know, can I talk to somebody about getting a loan? Well, the great thing is that they're definitely gonna be able to help you. However, after you're all done with your application, um, they're gonna say, you know, Linda, thank you so much for coming in today. And by the way, US Bank's rates, which are across the street, are this today, right? They're never going to say that to you, actually. Oh, because sure, okay. Of course, you know, the, the bank wants to keep your business at mm -hmm. their bank. Um, and so I always tend to recommend that you actually work with a loan broker. So, uh, um, so not, the Wells Fargo at the teller. 
Okay. Yes, yes, that's right. Well, I, well, I would say like I like to call that kind of retail banking, right? So you okay, can walk right, into right. your local branch, your credit union, um, you know, wherever it is that you bank. However, many times they're not going to help you shop, and it's really important that you shop around for the best Ooh, rate okay. and the best fees. So I typically recommend that you go with a loan broker. Um, even like, for instance, an online company like Quicken Loans. I mean, you know their Rocket Mortgage product. Yeah. Um, people, I think, like think it's it's very much geared and marketed as it like an easy like hey let's quick get you pre-approved but I would say any um, you know mortgage broker or lender can easily do that for you within you know one to three days essentially is let you know hey are you ready to shop what type of loan can you um, get approved for um, what could you expect for closing costs and fees and things like that in today's market so um, what people most mostly get concerned about is that you know if I go apply at one or two or three more places hey, it could affect my credit score, right? Mm. My credit score might drop. And so really that's why I recommend when you work with a loan broker, you do one application and their job is to help you find the best um, loan program. Um, and many times they're gonna work with anywhere from five to like 15 different banks. So they do all that shopping for you. you oh, know? okay. They'll watch the market, look at the interest rates, um, and they also can give you, um, you know, just kind of a really clear, concise view on fees, so. Okay, so a loan broker. If I'm driving in my car and I see buildings, a loan broker usually on the on the uh, the plaque of the building will say ABC Mortgage or something like that, right? That's a loan broker. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Like you know, um, for instance, like if you were to go, if you were to work with say like Wintrust Mortgage or um, you know Amic Home Loans, for instance, um, like you know even. Um, um, well, like even for instance, Results Mortgage, um, a mortgage company that um, my my broker John Calipi at Remax Results owns, um, they actually work with multiple banks as well. So you do one application with them, they give you a very easy, you know, um, easy application, and um, you know they can disclose all the fees and everything like that for your loan. And so at the end of the day, you know, you might your the, the bank that's actually giving you the loan might be Wells Fargo, it could be Chase, uh, you oh, know, okay. so mm -hmm. it could be a, a different bank completely, but. Um, that brokers really, you know, their job is to really make sure that you're in the best fit for you in terms of um, loan program and then the lowest fees. Okay, so again, loan broker, all they specialize, they don't do IRAs or savings accounts or checks and accounts, all they do is specialize getting a, typically a huge loan, a mortgage loan to you by, by seeking out all multiple banks. That's why I should choose a loan broker versus like my singular Wells Fargo bank. Absolutely. Okay, I think you got it. The, the gears are turning, thank you Nancy. <laughs> Okay, and the, um, because you've been in the business for so long, can you recommend like some of the of really good loan brokers that I can go to right now? All right, great. So there are, I this is, you're putting me on the spot. Yes. <laughs> because people that watch this are gonna. <laughs> I was trying to stump her. All right, okay. great. So um, I mean, there, there's three loan officers that I mean, I, I would say are, you know, would be great um, people to work with. I, so the first one I work really closely with, his name is David Youngs. And, David um, Youngst, yep, got it. David okay. Youngs, he is, um, he's actually been a loan officer as long as I've been selling homes as well. Oh. And he works for a, a small brokerage over in Roseville and it's okay. called Progressive Lending Solutions. They've been there around for like 20 plus years and he's one of their top performers. So he knows all of his products inside and out. Um, now the second loan officer that I actually uh, work with quite a bit, actually used to work at Wells Fargo. And oh, yeah. he and his manager actually left and they joined a company called CMG Financial. So they're right CMG. across the street from me at my office. Okay. Um, and his name is Anders Johnson. Um, okay. He's actually lives in Wisconsin and he's got a growing brood of um, wonderful little girls of his wife. <laughs> so I do a lot of work with both of those two um, loan officers. And um, I would say that, you know, a loan officer that has had a lot of experience but I re recently started working with this year is Kara King here at Results Mortgage. Kara King. Yep. Oh, and here. Yep, okay. yep, Results Mortgage. Um, awesome. It just happens to be a mortgage company that my broker owns. Um, but, you know, I really like her story, her great customer service, and Aww. I would tell you all of them are oh, wonderful yeah. people, and they all do a slam dunk job at what they do, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got it. So uh, the big takeaway I learned today was go with the loan broker. They're all there specialized is, is getting you the best loan for more, like a mortgage, a big loan and they seek out multiple banks at the same time. So you don't have to go to Wells Fargo one day and then TCF one day and then the next day you're yeah, I imagine like giving everybody your pay stubs and a oh, drop of yeah. blood and <laughs> you know, all your your taxes and your W-2s and all of that over and over again. It gets to be really exhausting and we're yes. all busy living our lives. We just want to find like our dream house, right? So that's 
All right. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so before we go, we just want to give a shout out to those who are watching. Heather Yang, thanks girl. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth Schiller and Sean Tao. Yes. <laughs> so we really appreciate you watching. Uh, tell a friend about Nancy Yang. She goes live every Wednesday, hashtag Ask Nancy. Any questions on real estate, and I mean anything, uh, I gotta ask her. Send it over. Mm -hmm. She will not deny. And then I uh, also wanna give a shout out to people who have liked and followed the Nancy Yang Remax Results page. And just thanks for being a fan. So we got Jenny Yang, Ganeng Cha, Sumani Yang, Tai Yang, Tu Yang, and Melissa Kaysani or Melissa Kaysan. I'm so sorry if I butchered it. <laughs> okay, so again, thanks so much. We'll thanks see you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Next week, and have a great week. All right, bye. Have a good one. Bye.